everyone. This is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here today with a project that is a continuation uh, from a class. Let me get the stuff out here. All right, so um, I took the five-day accordion challenge through handmadebook.com. I hope I got all that right. Anyway, um, so what I, I think I, show, I showed this in previous video that these were all accordion style books. I did four. There's a smaller one that's not going to be in this. And then I didn't finish the fifth one, which will be in this in a little while. So I got to looking at them and thinking about them. Well, gee, you know, I don't, I don't have anywhere to sit them on a shelf to look at them because they're spread out. They're like 22 inches long. And I just don't have that kind of room. So what I was thinking is that I would put the books in a book. Now, these would consider to be signatures. Very fancy signatures, but signatures. So I looked around in my um, collection of, you know, food boxes and found this one was deep enough and it was tall enough that I don't have to trim anything or do anything to these. They'll be perfect in there. Look, look at that. And I'll have a little to spare so I can scoot them up just a tad. And then they will fit nicely in here. I'll be able to fit four of these in here when I finish the other one. And there I have it. That, that'll be a safe place for all my stuff. All right, so there's that. Then I was thinking, well, what kind of paper can I use where I don't have to do anything to it? I really don't want to paint anything or gesso anything or anything like that because basically I just am too lazy. So I was looking through some rolled up papers I have and I made this out of, I think this is some kind of shipping paper from Amazon and it's probably six, seven years old and I doodled all over it. I painted it and then I did a bunch of doodles on it that mean absolutely nothing. Perfect. So I'm going to cover this with this and hopefully have more paper left over to have room on the inside for it. I will sew this with a three, whoops. I will sew this with a three hole pamphlet stitch. I'm not doing a Coptic on this one. This will just be your basic covered book thing. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do the three piece book either. I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I just need somewhere to store the accordion books so nothing happens to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in fast forward and I'm going to piddle around with this and see if I can make this work. If not, you're going to see a video where I am totally screwing up. You know, sort of like that paper bowl incident. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm almost out of breath. It took a lot of strength to push all that through there. Okay, as you can see from the spine, that uh, my spacing leaves a lot to be desired. So I don't, I don't know if I want to rip this out and poke holes here. And then this is for the uh, flag accordion. And I poke that too low. That's got to go up a little higher. Hopefully I can mash these in and kind of disguise them in the pattern of the paper. I would really like to move this over here so that it looks a little bit better. But I could put another accordion in here. No! Let's move it. Okay, anyway, so that's my book with three accordion books inside it. And then I will put the fourth one on right here. And I will go back and take this out, as a matter of fact. The only thing I have to do is um, find scissors. So the only thing that I need to do is to poke holes and then just um, move it over to here and then I will try to disguise these later. Too bad you can't put putty in your book, right? <laughs> All right, so I will fast forward, you, fast forward you through this last part, which should have been done, but you know me, I do everything the hard way. <laughs> okay, so I got it sewed back in. I sewed it upside down compared to what I want it to be. And as you, if you can see, you will see that <laughs> my flower is upside down. Oh, well, it's no biggie. It's just my book. Anyway, so I may stamp some stuff on the front to make it look like it's right side up. This is right side up. I was just hoping to get this on the other side. See, no biggie. All right, so I did move it. So now I'm spaced a little better. And then the flag book would go here. And then I will... Um, maybe drag some kind of paint or something over these so they're not as noticeable. So that's my um, accordion book book, along with belly bands sewn into it. Isn't that funny? I didn't think I could do this. The flag book might be a little more challenging, but we'll see how it goes. When I get ready to do the, um, the last book, I will come back and show you the last one. It's not that exciting, but I thought you might like to see the finished project. Thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.